Hey guys, it's Blake with Inexpress. And the businesses that we talk to every day are always looking for the best shipping rates, right? So they're shopping around different carriers, trying to get the best shipping rates, seeing who can give them the best prices. So I wanted to try to explain how shipping rates are calculated so then we can see how attractive our businesses are to be able to talk to the carriers to get the best shipping rates. Um, so there's two main ways that I wanted to kind of illustrate for us. Number one, in order to get the best shipping rates, obviously um, it would be volume, right? So do we have, and, and this is, there's two parts of this. So do we have our own volume? Can we increase the volume of shipments that our business does so we become more attractive to the carrier? Um, and th that can be through our own volume or that can be through uh, leverage. And so if we're leveraging multiple businesses in the same shipping account or we can come together and negotiate with the carriers uh, to be able to get a better shipping price for the group, right? Gr uh, bulk buying. Um, the second way that is less uh, discussed would be to understand the profitability ability of the carrier. Right, so this is a, something that's probably a little bit less understood. Um, there's three legs of a shipment that uh, that the carriers look at when they price shipping rates on their rate sheet when they give to you. So assume that you're shipping from point A over here to point B, right? So obviously the carrier that picks up from point A doesn't drive it all the way across the country or take it all the way across the world to point B uh, and that person does not give it uh, to the receiver. We know that that's not how shipping works. So obviously there is a probably a distribution center here and there's another distribution center here and then uh, it's connected right to point A and B. So there's a driver that comes from this distribution center picks up from A, your package goes back here to the distribution center. That's called first mile, this portion. And then it's sorted, uh, determined which distribution center it goes to to get closest to point B, and then it's flown or driven or sailed in a boat, whatever makes the most sense, to this distribution center. And then it's sorted again, given to a final mile driver, and then taken out to point B. So. This is a person that picks up, you know, roughly 75 packages a day. They do their route and point B is one of their stops. So they're taking it to the, the door there. So there's three legs here and understanding the pricing of how these legs are determined uh, helps us become a better educated shipper and helps us negotiate better rates, right? So we have first mile, line haul, final mile. Um, what's probably not understood is which legs are the most expensive. So we have the first mile here is a driver picking up from the distribution center from your business, probably 20 or 50 or 75 packages, however many you have. So for that route that he drives, he's picking up 75 packages, doing the rest of his route about 50 to 75 packages or wh whatever business's volume are and taking them back. So he picks up a lot of packages. Um, so we can divide that by the cost of doing this. Same with the line haul. We would think that this would be the most expensive because it's a 747 flying across the country or across the ocean or uh, an, a freight liner that's carrying the packages across the ocean. Um, that's the, that is the case that that is the most expensive lane, but it's divided by thousands and thousands of packages that are on there. So this is actually the least expensive lane because it's flying from a major airport to a major airport or driving across the country. Um, so this one is not important. It's not important how far your packages are actually going. That's a common misconception. Um, this is final mile, and this is actually the most expensive uh, leg of your shipment. So it's because there's most likely about 75 deliveries per day that a, a, a domestic driver in the United States does. And the reason is he has to pick up from the distribution center 
And for every single package that he has, assuming that you only have one package, if you're a, a residential consumer that purchased something online, for example, is he has to drive to your location, to your door, get out, scan one package, take it all the way to the door, take a photo, get delivery confirmation, you know, whatever the case is, get a signature, go back to his truck, start it up, go to the next one. So that's for every single package. So you can see how the time is so much more expensive on this final mile lane. So if we understand the profitability, we know that it's uh, the most expensive is final mile, second most expensive is first mile, and then third is line haul, which is good because the easiest for, I'm sorry, the hardest for us to do as the business is the line haul. We don't have our own planes, we can't take it across the country, we can't, you know, semi truck uh, packages where they need to go. But what we can do is maybe find our own final mile carrier or first mile carrier or use a shipping option that partners with the United States Postal Service to do final mile deliveries because those postmen are already going on every street delivering every person's mail. So if you're an e-commerce business or something like that, this would be a great option for you. Uh, maybe you can do the first mile and drop off. Carrier does the line haul, which is great. And then maybe the uh, carrier's partner does the final mile or the post office and they do all the routes already so we just pay them significantly less to do the final mile deliveries so we can to recap we can increase our own volume obviously that's going to be the best way to to be able to negotiate with the carriers we can leverage a larger amount uh reseller partner or something like that or um maybe a an e-commerce platform that has higher rates I'm uh, sorry, higher volume, so therefore lower rates, um, and then understand the profitability. So if we're paying one carrier to do all of these legs, it's gonna be the most expensive. That's probably your fastest express option because it doesn't change any hands, and it just scans and goes, goes straight there, three legs. But if price is important to us, we can look at a mail innovation service, something that hands off to the post office, or take care of our own first mile ourselves. So hopefully this helps, guys.